Don't look behind you. What? Just look forward. I don't want you to see my face. It's in both our best interests. Did I do something? No, no, just listen. You're not 18 yet, right? Not yet. Good. And you're into acting shit? Yeah, I'm into acting shit. And you're popular with your people? My people? The arts kids. Yeah. Look, I need to go. And you so want to go to college for it? Yeah. Okay, I'm... If you hear me out, I'll get you all the money you'll ever need for all four years. Even grad school, if you want. <clears throat> there are about 2,240 kids in our school, give or take about the 15 or 20 kids that drop out or transfer in every year. Out of those 2,240, there are roughly 600 who have tried drugs. And those who try, with the right push, will always buy. Now, out of those 600, there are 12 clear cliques that people fall into. The football players, basketball players, the preppy white kids, student council, band kids, the ghettos, the Spanish speaking, the D&D &D types, the hipsters, the lacrosse kids, the swimmers, and the acting kids. At this school, we streamline circulation with an easy system. 12 representatives, one for each clique, have access to one master stash of the country's finest shit, right here in our school. Here? Mm-hmm. In Enlo. There's a room here that no one knows about. Not the principal, not the teachers, not even the oldest damn librarian. Now, it used to be a locker room before they renovated the place in 54. Since then, the lowest hallway in the building, under the West Gym, has been abandoned. And that hallway is the locker room. And in that locker room is enough shit these special 600 students will ever need for the nine-month school year, then to be replenished next year. The only people who know about it are me, the current 11 representatives, and now you. I want you to be the 12th representative for the acting kids. I... No, that, that's sketchy. I mean, I, I don't know anything about this kind of thing. But I know dealing is dangerous. Well, sure it is if you're a dumbass. But all my guys and girls have a schedule. Go in once a month on a particular day during lunch. Pick up only what you need. Get out, sell the month away, cut 30% for you, I trust you know how. And leave the other 70% in the final locker on the left when you go to get more. You never mentioned the abandoned locker room, never mentioned the boy in the computer lab, never mentioned anything but what you have and how much it is. You only deal in the school, only to people you trust, only to kids older than you. Cops around here won't look for anyone under 18 because they can't easily lock them up. And all they care about is putting someone in jail. Well, look, I can't. <laughs> I can't encourage this, and I can't get caught with something like that. I'll lose everything. I'll lose my acceptance. What does your acceptance mean now? You think you can afford 50 grand a year? I saw on your computer how much that shit costs and how little you have. And if you're concerned about morals, don't be. 18-year-old brains aren't develop are developed enough that light drug use won't alter anything permanently. Not even the hardest shit in that locker room. Whether your customers squeal or not is up to you. The rules you put down they're your friends. They respect you. Or so you say. Hey, did you know this guy was following you? Get out. Now. Just how much would I get? You'll be selling weed, coke, molly, and Adderall. Now, weed is $20 a gram. $50 for an eighth of an ounce. $100 for a quarter of an ounce. Never sell above a quarter. Coke is $80 a gram. $200 for an eighth of an ounce. Never sell above an eighth. Molly is $20 a pill, or $100 for a gram. The Adderall is in 30 milligram pills, and they go for about $5 a pill. Don't sell by pill. Sell by 10 pill packs. Never, send more, never sell more than 10 pill packs. Here's a key. There's a chart of prices according to the weights. There's also a scale in the last right locker. What do I say if I get caught? You won't. 